I want you to look at your job as a blessing. Even if you feel like the job you have right now um, is not the one you desire, or it's maybe not where you envision yourself a few years ago, I want you to look at the job as a blessing still. Having a job gives you purpose. Having a job gives you direction. It should give you motivation. It should teach you. It should, it should help you grow. The job title you have does not define you. Even if you have a, a vision in your head of, hey, I want this specific title. Once you get there, the journey is not over. It's, it's a life journey. If you have a job and it's not the one you want, I want you to invest into it. Invest into learning. Make sure you get something out of it. Your leaders, your managers, your bosses, I want you to empower them. I want you to go to them and ask them, hey, what can I do to be better? How can I learn? What should I be looking for if I want to get promoted? Truly invest into the job. Do your best to learn the position. Master the position. Invest all of yourself into the job. And the job will reward you. Even if the reward of the, the money you're getting is not enough. Even if the reward of the title you're getting is not enough. Even if the reward of it feels like a dead end at the moment is not enough. You will be rewarded in life because you will be building a behavior of excellence. You will be building the behavior of taking advantage of every opportunity you have. If you give yourself the best if you give the best you can to the job now, what do you think you're going to do in 10 years when you actually do land that dream job? You're going to give your, your best self then. But if you build the habit of always coming late, always calling off, talking crazy about the job, being mad and hating coworkers, telling your boss or thinking that your boss is horrible, your manager is horrible, you're going to resent work. You're going to resent your job. You're going to you're going to look at it as if going there is some type of punishment. Work should be fun. Work should be fulfilling. Now, I'm not naive and I'm not stupid. And I'm not saying that there are there, there are no jobs that suck. There are jobs that just flat out suck. But you're you're not doing anything forever in life. Right. And sometimes you do have to go through uncomfortable situations to develop a comfortable one. Sometimes you have to go through a painful situation to create a blissful one. Sometimes you have to do a job with a lower pay, with lower responsibility, so you can learn it and master it. And then so you can move up and move on. We all have our own individual journeys. So if you have a job, I want you to respect that job, respect yourself, look at it as a blessing. This is my last thing for you. Don't shame yourself for having a job. Sometimes I see entrepreneurs. Now, I'm an entrepreneur and I have been since 2013 full time. That's six years. I've seen entrepreneurs shame people who have jobs or they try to convince people, hey, you work a nine to five. You're not worthy or you're missing out. Now, as an entrepreneur, I can make a whole video about why I think people should be entrepreneurs, but everyone is not an entrepreneur and that we should not be shaming people who have jobs. If you have a job, we should not shame you. Entrepreneurs should not shame you because you have a job. It is a blessing. If you're able to take care of yourself, your family, you're able to feed yourself, you're able to have the lifestyle you want. That's a blessing. That's a reward. There should be no shame. Now. If I ever personally made anyone ever feel like their job is shame, you know, like there should be some shame, I apologize. I've had over 30 jobs in my life. I've had over 30 jobs in my life. And I'm grateful for all of them because without the experience of each one, I would not have my dream career now of being a full time speaker and a full time writer. I wouldn't have eight books. I wouldn't be able to go on tour and speak to people. It is because I valued every job that I had and I cared and I invested. That is the only reason I'm in the position I'm in now. That's my message. I hope you got something good out of this. I hope you found some type of uh, peace in this message. Free your energy. And if you didn't know, 
the Free Your Energy book is out. It's finally out. You can go to Amazon.com and order it right now. If you didn't know, I'm going on tour. I'm about to speak in, where am I speaking? San Diego, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami. Uh, I think we start June 2nd. Go to my website, SylvesterMcNutt.net. Get your tickets. I would love to speak to you. I would love to give you some good energy. Maybe if you feel a little lost in life, give you some direction. Maybe if you feel like winning, I, I want to help you get your championship, man. I, I feel like a successful person. I feel like I'm a healed person. I feel like I'm a motivated person. Let me help you out. Let me inspire you. Let me give you some light. Let me give you some love. Come on out. There's going to be other people in your community there. You never know who's going to be there. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know who you're going to network with just by coming to a Sylvester McNutt event. Come on out. Free your energy. <laughs> Free your energy. <laughs>